from Dabs Games, and we've got some film news for you today. New Spider-Man 3 title has been revealed. If you haven't already seen it, they did a clip with Tom Holland and the other two actresses, and I don't remember the names. Apologies to them. It's a difficult to remember to my own name sometimes. Uh, the title has been revealed as Spider-Man 3 No Way Home. I recommend you go and check out the clip as well if you can find it. It's really good fun, so I'm looking forward to that. Because obviously those who have seen the last one, how it ended, a lot more questions and answers, so this should be good. Uh, Nickelodeon has launched Avatar Studios to further expand on the last Airbend and the Legend of Korra universes. This is something we've all been asking for for quite a while, because there's a lot more they can do with both of them. I'm quite happy about this, so... Looking forward to see what they do with that. Petition for Johnny Depp has reached its principal of 500,000 and it's climbing rapidly. They're now looking for a new target of a million. I mean, I'm fully supportive because if, from what I've heard about in the news, if they're both guilty then and if she's got a job, he should be allowed his job. It's as simple as that. Because at the moment, she's been accused of a lot of things and she's still got her jobs. He's been accused of a lot of things, she's got none. So, I am I hope he does get it back, personally. And he's a good actor as well, so... There we go. That's just my opinion. Don't hate. <laughs> Halo TV series. Now, obviously those who know me, I'm a massive Halo fan. So when I found out this, I was jumping over the moon. Does have me in another streaming service, Paramount Plus. As if there isn't enough already with like Now TV, Netflix, Disney Plus, and all sorts, Funimation, and all that sort of stuff. It's too many. Anyway, Halo TV series will be coming 2022. Now, before COVID had come about and delayed everything, they had done about 50 to 60 percent of the filming already. So it hasn't really delayed too much of what they're doing and those who've seen the clips they have released like one or two clips of props in the background it looks good so we shall see and as far as people can guess and they keep guessing the mystery guest at Justice League people have been suggesting Green Lantern it might be Green Lantern but not the Ryan Reynolds one so that's what people need to realise. If it goes to Green Lantern, it will not be Ryan Reynolds. So, but it would be cool to see the Green Lantern in there. Also, the Army of the Dead trailer, Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead trailer, has been released as well. Uh, a friend of mine, Watch on the Wall, has reacted to it. Link will be below. Go and watch it. Good stuff. This looks really good and save the best for last I believe because I'm a big fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas they have now said a sequel is in the works now before you okay oh no it should be done this that and the other <laughs> they're doing it from a book they are doing as well and they're going to do it properly well I think this sounds pretty good from what the source has said what they've told me uh, it's set after the first one, not too long after it, where Sally uh, sets an, an old Halloween town villain free, who then puts Jack and the other villagers and other holiday towns in danger. And it also includes a new, never before seen town as well. So, I reckon that sounds pretty good. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the new town is, what the new holidays that we've never seen before. Because I'm pretty sure we saw all of them on that door. But this is a day of new age multicultural, so who knows what they'll do. I'm quite excited about that. So, yeah. Any more news? Let me know if you want to find anything, and I'll find out for more in the week. So, peace. Peace.